What is up YouTube? Let's discuss interview preparation for that sweet sweet job of data engineering. All the information I will share is based on my personal experience. Let's quickly look at the key components for a data engineering interview. The first one is data structures and algorithms. A lot of you people have asked me why even this is a criteria for getting a data engineering job. But one of the things you need to consider about data engineering is it's a subset of engineering in general. So to be a good data engineer, you need to be a good software engineer as well. Therefore, the playing field is kind of leveled with as of engineers. Second component is SQL structured query language. So this is the language of data. Anyone who's working in the field of data has to know this language full stop. This is the language you need to interact with huge chunk of data in databases. But nowadays lately, this language has been adapted over to various different technologies of big data in general, be it data warehouses like Redshift, BigQuery, which like handles huge chunk of data. Uh, other data processing frameworks such as, big data processing frameworks such as Spark, which includes Spark SQL. So in a way, this language is kind of really important if you're dealing with data, manipulating data, reading data, making views, making transformation. This actually becomes base of everything nowadays. And everything kind of happens through SQL. So the third interview component which can be is cloud and other big data technology. This is basically the knowledge on the tech stack being used by a data engineer. It includes open source frameworks such as Spark, Hadoop, Kafka, Python, even like data manipulation tools such as Pandas, etc. Also it includes uh, all these different cloud technologies which are being used for data engineering. So all these different cloud services. Example of these cloud services would be like in data warehousing space it would be BigQuery or Redshift from uh, AWS, BigQuery from Google, uh, other frameworks such as Cloud Data Proc for uh, handling, uh, doing a lot of transformation, data flow for doing a lot of transformation uh, for streaming. Uh, similarly, uh, if you've heard of um, Vertex AI platform, that's one of the surveys. Another service would be like SageMaker from AWS. You would need to have knowledge and experience uh, in terms of these open source technologies plus these cloud services. Fourth component, is system design. This is actually a bit more relevant for senior positions lately. Since you're already expected to be an engineer first, you ought to have knowledge on system design, on how you can build um, robust scalable systems, specifically specifically around uh, around data and data engineering specifically. Uh, all of the senior positions actually kind of require to have knowledge around system design. Last component is past work experience. Someone who already is in this field or probably some other field of data, has to show relevant experience in terms of their interaction with all these different cloud technologies, open source technologies with data. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. If you're someone who's like a newbie and who's really beginning to this field of data, uh, you need to show some kind of relevant experience even if you're coming from different field. For example, you somewhere use data in an Excel, but probably you can always explore using data using some Python packages. So yeah, you kind of need to show this relevant experience, which is like really important because uh, being a relatively new field, people are really in search of uh, engineers who have some experience in managing big data or data in general. All right, moving on to the main part of my video, data structures and algo strategy for data engineering interviews. All right, this video is kind of targeted for someone who is quite new for prepping up for coding interviews, or for someone like me who kind of hates it. For this strategy, I'm mainly gonna reference Lead Code, which is the platform everyone uses for preparing up coding interviews. One of the key things is the language of choice is actually Python. So there's a lot less boilerplate code and it's very straightforward to write down. Hence, it's very good for whiteboard uh, sessions and also for codeability rounds. In my personal experience, going on to lead code, solving problems one by one will never work for you. So that's why I would like to share my key strategy on, in terms of how I, I prep for my interviews, how I prep for giving uh, interview rounds. I actually approach these lead code problems topic by topic. And uh, so instead of going one by one and just going doing random problems, you should definitely go into like topic by topic. Uh, so there's kind of a pattern to solving these problems. So if you do it in bunches of topics, uh, it would be very easy to grasp to, and you can always come back and reference them as like solving a particular problem using a particular pattern. Instead of like doing all the problems, uh, like all the thousands of problems, instead I would suggest you starting from this blind 75 list. This is a list of 75 questions, which is basically the most asked questions in tech interview rounds. This has been shared on this anonymous uh, uh, professional social network, which is blind. One of the other things uh, is like, 
I have a list of questions. I kind of, I, I already have like my preparation strategy. I'm going to share in a bit, but I typically aim for easy and medium problems only. I actually never touch hard problems. In terms of my preparation strategy is not only just to focus in DS and Algo, but also focus on these other different components which I have and I have to showcase. Uh, moving on, I want to show my notes, basically how I kind of try to prep for it uh, in a Notion portal. So I kind of prepare my notes. Uh, as you must have seen my previous video, I use Notion a lot. I prep my notes in a single place. This is my uh, repository of knowledge. I always come back and revise them one by one. So you can see the way I kind of do it. I, I have these main topics, which is like the pattern, errors and hashing. I have, and then I am trying to solve uh, problems within this. So I can see I have added uh, tags, like someone, something which needs revision from my end, uh, someone uh, which is have a very specific note. So I'm kind of prepping one by one. So for example, if you want to see solutions to it, I have multiple solutions in place. I'm kind of toggling in one by one using an accordion. So brute force solution would kind of look like this. Uh, a sorted link solution, which is like a com uh, lower complexity solution with n log n would look like this. Uh, uh, one of the, be the best solution, like in this case is using a hash map. So basically I'm using a hash set, not even a map, hash set, where I'm always uh, using it as a reference because hash set retrieving a value from hash set is at O1. So that's how you're able to kind of s reduce the complexity of solving the time complexity, but by increasing, um, by storing some value by increasing the space complexity, but you're always able to uh, reduce the time complexity. And actually the most, the more important complexity out of these are like the time complexity. That's where the interviewer should be focusing on. So yeah, this is how I'm, I'm kind of preparing my notes. Uh, uh, and then I also have a table uh, down below. I'm kind of prepping this table, which has hints. So I can always come back. Uh, if I'm a solo, I can click on the link. I can come back, I can use, see a hint, revise, like just before an interview, I can always come back to these tables, revise stuff, look at the space and time complexities. Because a lot of the times, uh, even though it's not the brightest thing, a lot of the times these can be repeated. So it's always good to have these notes in place. Just do a quick revise before an interview. This is it in terms of video. If you got value out of it, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. One, the, one of the other things, if you're interested to see more of the interview prep content, so for now in all the parts of a data engineering interview, I've just covered one part, which is data section and algorithm, and it's kind of really important. Uh, so yeah, I've covered that part, which is important, but if you want to know the other uh, components and want to learn more about the other components, I'm happy to help. I would make a few more videos if you're interested. Definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested into that. Uh, I will... Uh, add more videos around preparation for interviews for data engineering. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button again, uh, subscribe to my channel, that's the drill. It really helps me a lot to promote my channel to people like you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.